Want to see what we're giving an almost three-year-old and a three-month-old for Christmas? Keep watching! Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Glue, and today I want to show you guys what we're getting our girls for Christmas. Um, we have two little girls named Celia and Bryony. Celia will be three in February, and Bryony it just turned three months old. And so we budget about $200 per child for gifts for Christmas. Now, this may seem excessive, this may seem not very much, it just really depends what we save throughout the year, and we don't really buy our girls much throughout the year um so this is really the time besides their birthdays when they get some stuff um and it's also a time to like get them some stuff they need as well and some stuff as a family that we've been wanting to get so um it's kind of multi-purpose so i just thought i would take you guys through what we're getting them so keep watching so for our almost three-year-old celia we've been really wanting to get her things like games and movies and just fill in a couple gaps as far as toys because they do run an in-home daycare and we have like every toy known to man and i'm just so sick of toys everywhere and in the winter months here in minnesota it can get really boring fast in our house just playing with the same toys over and over again um and especially when we want to do things as a family it could be kind of hard because she's still pretty little but she also is getting to the age where she can start playing games so we wanted to get her some games for christmas that we can play over those winter months and for like family nights and then as our youngest child gets bigger she can play with us as well so we picked up this sneaky what is it called the sneaky snacky scroll game got really good reviews on amazon and i will have links to everything in the description below but i got a lot of these things um for like cyber monday deals so we got that one we also got this really highly rated Hoot, Hoot, Hoot Owl Hoot game. Um, supposed to be really good. It says ages four and up, but she seems to do really well a little earlier compared to some of these, especially with puzzles and things like that too. So we'll try it. She does really well with like go fish and stuff like that. So, you know, these are things to grow into as well. So we got that one. And then we got a couple classics when they were um, at a good price at Target when they were on sale. We got Candyland. And we got shoots and ladders. You really can't go wrong with those. And then the only actual toy that we got her for a main Christmas gift is this doctor set. She does not have a full doctor set. This got really good reviews on Amazon and she loves to do dramatic plays. So I think she'll really love this, especially playing with her baby sister. And it comes with a nice carrying case, which I like. So I can throw it all in there and it's not everywhere in the house. And then we also got her this movie, Inside Out. We would love to get her like the Disney classics and stuff, but we did tell family and friends that those are great gift ideas for her um so that over the years she can love the same movies we love growing up but we actually haven't seen this movie but i've been wanting to for a while and um if anybody has an almost three-year-old little girl um especially if they're on the more strong-willed side there are a lot of emotions that come with being that age um, and I've heard this movie is really great for kind of um, talking about that with kids So I just thought this would be one she'd really love the characters of and I just heard really good things about it So I'm excited to watch it with her I also got this book that I heard about from Gia on marriage and motherhood and I'll link her channel below and we do a daily Bible time every night before bed and I will do a video on that pretty soon um, But I really want to incorporate something like this. It talks about the virtues um from a christian perspective so i just thought this would be fun to incorporate into our daily bible time routine as well and i do want to get her books too but i thought those would be great things for family and friends and we have so many books with the daycare that i didn't really want to bombard her with books for christmas but speaking of books we did get her a 20 dollars barnes and noble gift card uh, might seem like kind of a weird thing to get a three-year-old or almost three-year-old but um she really likes shopping she likes um learning about money and stuff like that she loves her piggy bank and so we thought this would be a fun way to teach her about spending and that there's a limit um there's a budget twenty dollars and a little bit about math i mean she's still pretty young but that way she can also pick out the books that she wants and i think it'll be a really fun educational and family thing for us to do together and just really fun for her to get to pick out what she gets so i thought that'd be fun for her and then we also got her some shoes i got these at walmart because they're way cheaper at walmart and i just the quality doesn't seem much different than anywhere else and she loves pink and sparkles so she'll love those and then i got her this rainbow dash 
my little pony shirt as well she's just gonna love this so i had a little bit of extra room in the budget so i got her that and then one thing i love to do for her for christmas starting this year is my plan for every year is to get her her next year's wardrobe mostly thrifted for christmas so back in august i think it was savers which is my favorite thrift store in our area for kids clothes used um they had like a 50 percent off all kids clothes sale so i went and stocked up on all the 3t stuff for my daughter knowing i would be giving those to her for christmas so i didn't i'm not giving her all of it for christmas but all the cute ones i will just to for her to open more it's just fun um and she loves clothes and colors and flowers and stuff like that so i'm just gonna quickly show you guys with music over it what i got her for her clothes That is everything we're getting our three-year-old and like i said that was a 200 dollars limit so the clothes i bought it was about 75 dollars for everything um that there was more to it than that but i included that in the budget so that rounded out her so let's look at where we're getting our baby so one of the things we got her is this super cute fleece like jumpsuit type thing um we love to have her wear these in the car because they're thin but very warm and they zip up so that she can wear them in her car seat. This is the, I think, three to six month size. Um, she's already wearing the zero to three month one. So this will be the next size to get her through the winter. This is from Carter's um, when they were having a huge sale. So I think it was like $7 on sale. We got her these little ladybug shoes, which um, one of her nicknames is Bug. So that's perfect for her and they're kind of neutral and I just wanted something to put on her feet to help keep her socks on especially in the winter um, I don't want her socks falling off when we're all, like at stores and stuff so those are really really cute I'm excited for her to wear those she will probably be transitioning out of her swaddle pretty soon so we got her a zippity zip um, if you guys are not familiar with these these are awesome they are basically a swaddle transition they help babies with the um, startle reflex, but they're not constrictive like a swaddle. So it's kind of the in-between. Um, and this is a, let's see, a small, so three to six month size. So that should be perfect for her. And I just got a neutral one in case we do have more kids and it ends up being a boy. Because she's only three months old, obviously, like, she doesn't care about Christmas, but we wanted our older daughter to see her little sister getting presents as well, to see that it's equal. So we also just kind of threw in some more practical things that I've been wanting to get for the girls. Um, and also from Gia on Marriage and Motherhood, she's talked about this really cool... Um, I might have it upside down. Yeah, I have it upside down. Um, this organizer for clothes. And you hang it in your closet, and then you can pick out the kids clothes for the week and put it in there and it's all set and I've been doing that but I've been hanging them on clothes hangers and it's just not very functional we're actually gonna put this in our bedroom so I can not have to wake them up when I get their clothes in the morning ready before I get them up so this is perfect but we're just gonna say it's for our baby another thing we got is this wrap um, carrier I also have a baby Catan and an Ergo 360 but the baby Catan uh, might be a little small or she just doesn't really like it. It doesn't seem as um, adaptable and I want to be able to try nursing her while carrying her and wearing her for daycare. So this was kind of like the Moby wrap but cheaper. I think it was about $20 on Amazon but it got really good reviews and it comes with like a DVD on how to use it. So hopefully that'll work well. And then we also got her two bigger items um, that we are going to use a lot. So we got her this um, like tummy time activity mat. She already has an activity mat, but with daycare, I have a four level home and I can't be like running up and down all the time. So I'd love to have like this as the daycare activity mat. And then the other one will be upstairs for like after daycare. But I like this because it has the piano. She can like kick because now she's been kicking a lot. Um, and it's adaptable throughout the months so she can play with it a lot so i thought that was really cute okay and the other thing i've been eyeing up for a long time is a skip hop 
what do they call it, activity center. Um, I love this. We do not have a bouncer seat like this, an extra saucer type of thing anymore. We got rid of ours. They were kind of grody and they were secondhand. I love this because all of the things suction cup to the table. So you can take them off and like run them through the dishwasher and sanitize them and you can clean the surface really easily because it's flat. Whereas the other ones have like all these nooks and crannies that get spit up and drool and nastiness in them and it's just so gross. <laughs> so I love this, especially with the daycare, I can use it for future kids and it will be sanitary, which I like. And then you can rearrange all the pieces, which I really love. And um, as they grow, it can become a table. So it can be like a little table they color at or whatever. So it works throughout the years. I'll try to show you guys so you can kind of see the different things. But um, this was originally over $100, I think, and I got it for like 71 for Cyber Monday. So huge deal I'm really excited about. And then because I had a little bit of extra money in the budget, I also got her this sassy um, like thing that can suction cup to a high chair, or I think I could even put it on there. And it like spins and lights up and stuff, um, I think, or maybe just spins and has different colors has different colors and stuff so just to keep her you know learning and looking at things so that is everything we're getting our daughters for Christmas I will also have a video coming up of all the stuff in their stockings so check back for that and check back tomorrow for another vlogmas video thank you guys so much for watching I'd love to know what you are getting your kids especially if they're in the same age ranges um, and I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas thanks for watching bye guys